All right, what's kind of slithery, scaly, and has a forked tongue? All right, some type of snake, not quite, but a distant relative called the blue tongued skink. <laughs> KITV Force Ashley Moser has this week's Going Wild, all new at six. A snake with disproportionate legs? Well, that's one way to describe a skink. Most know them for their tongue, big, blue, and distinct. This native Australian reptile is now found as a pet all over the world. But the key to its survival, the sunlight. First, they have to solarize in the sun to get going, to go hunting. And then after um, they get their fill, the sun helps them metabolize that food down. Keepers say they're often confused with snakes and lizards. But one characteristic setting them apart is right on their head. The ears, they have ear holes, and snakes do not have ear holes, yeah. Keepers often joke around with children saying the reason why their tongues are blue, because of blue lollipops. Well, that's actually not the case. It's a defense mechanism. They'll wave around their blue tongue to scare off predators. They'll stick out the tongue, drop it out of their mouth, and just wave it. And then they have a nice bright color on the side, a pinkish color. So all that color is supposed to, you know, the other animals supposed to look at it and just go, <gasps> you know, and get away. A technique that keepers say works most of the time on predators. But when they're the ones on the prowl, well, what satisfies their hunger? They're omnivores, eating fruits, vegetables, meat, and occasionally insects. Pretty much they can eat whatever we do, uh, except for the candy and the ice cream and all that garbage. But <laughs> Ashley Moser, KITV4 News. And the skink's coat looks shiny and slimy, according to Ashley, but it's not wet at all. And did you notice that she didn't yeah, I hold she didn't. the skink this She's time? She's always she usually holds touching the those animals. animals. Yeah. She let the kids do it this time.